Okay, so today's video is a little impromptu video. So I've been having a minor, let's say, issue for the last week. Tank's been doing outstanding. I had this, what is that, a Oregon Blue Torts RTN, and you can see fresh skeleton down there, and then cyano-covered skeleton there. Figured maybe it was just a change in flow since I added this gyre up here. Um, I had, I don't know if you remember an old video, I had a Mr. Pac-Man giant colony here. I ended up hacking that up and then the whole thing just died. So I'm like, all right, that's a sensitive coral. This coral here, every now and then the tips die off and come back and die off and come back. You can see overall it looks healthy, but I always have this tip issue. And then I had a Nero 3 pump in my sump a while ago crack. And once I removed that and replaced it, I stopped seeing this thing do that. Um, I've talked about my blue tort that I saved. And in the last, you know, several months, it's been doing well. And this week, I noticed a little dead spot on it. What else? So yeah, everything's been doing fine, but I have been seeing those little spots. Then today, this giant, what is this, the WWC Aussie Toxic Slimer. I've been growing this thing for like four years now. I've probably cut it in half a dozen times. And then today I notice this giant branch of it's starting to peel. Now, when sensitive corals do something silly, or RTN or have little spots. I don't get too bent out of shape because that's what sensitive acros do. But when a beginner acro starts to peel, then I get a little concerned. So, since I had symptoms similar to when my Nero 3 cracked, my first thing was to start looking for magnets. I just put this in about a week ago so I checked the magnet on this because it's sealed with acrylic, not with like epoxy resin like a lot of the magnets. I just pulled out the two MP40s because I had one of those crack on me. Um, my jump gyre here and my jump gyre down here are both brand new, so they were last on my list to check. I was just about to pull my return pump out and then decided to look at my heaters. Now my heaters I replace every year or two, so they're never that old, but lo and behold, you only get better light. This one is rusty inside. Now you can see I haven't cleaned it. Actually, I've been bad. I had a alert on my phone that reminded me in January to clean it. And I ignored it and it's now May. So I pull that out and I see rust. Good news is it looks like I found my solution and this thing is what like 25 bucks to replace. I still have another one. I'm gonna double check that one. So I hope I found my cause. I just did a water change yesterday. I'm gonna do another water change as soon as I can make water. So maybe tonight um, maybe I'll throw a little carbon in so I'm not too worried since only a few things look upset but when the things that normally do well start to look upset that's what kind of tipped me off um, so this just goes to show oh shit I just realized this coral which has been doing well is now not doing well okay so yeah I'm gonna do a water change I'm gonna throw some carbon in here and hope for the best. 